So I'm here with Formula 4 driver, Ricky Collard. So Ricky, uh, the day's now over, you've uh, qualified 6th and you finished 6th in your first race. Were you happy with that? Yeah, it was a good performance. The, um, we made a really good start, another special Collard start, and um, got up to 4th at the first corner. Um, and then it was just trying to manage the tyre and manage the car as much as possible. You know, we, we didn't have the pace um, and we, we knew that before the start of the race. So the plan was to make a good start and, and just try and, and try and hold on for as long as possible. And um, to, get, to get a sixth place was, was good, but um, unfortunately I lost. I was fourth in, for, the, for the whole race until the last five laps and I um, lost, unfortunately, to the, to the radicals that were hard charging right behind me. Now you say you were uh, down on speed. Is that speed down the straight? Is that speed down the uh, through the corners? Because both are a huge, huge aspect of the, of the track. Yeah, um, I feel that we're, the main problem is down the end of the straights. Um, the car is 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 good through the corners, um, and it is still good on the straights. But it's, everyone is is pushing and developing every every, every race, and um, you know we're we're improving as much as we can, um, but we've still got a little bit to find. Now, uh, tomorrow, uh, obviously, a bit of a complex way to sort out uh, your grid for your next race. So where do you uh, end up starting tomorrow? That's it. So we've, uh, controversially, we've got pole position again. So, <laughs> <laughs> so no, that, 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 was, that, was, that was the plan, you know. It was to get, get up to fourth and then let them pass. No. <laughs> but no, so we're starting pole. Um, hopefully, you know, we, we can hold on to it. It's going to be extremely difficult. Realistically, I think a podium... It, a podium is possible and, and a race win is, is certainly going to be difficult but this is going to be a bus. This is going to be as wide as it can possibly get. Now uh, you've obviously the scholarship when, whenever you win you uh, get a uh, check. You've already said uh, how good that is for you and for the team. So now starting on pole overall that's put you in a good position for a big trophy and also the uh, check. Big, yeah big big check so um, no, it's, it's great you know, um, to be at Silverstone as well. Uh, you know, I've never driven this track. is is <laughs> no surprise that it's, it holds the Formula One races. It's it's so smooth and the facilities are so great. Um, but no, you know, if, if we can get a, get a big trophy and a big check, then it'll be uh, it'll be a good a good way to finish what is nearly the start the end of the season now. So, okay, thank you very much for your time, Ricky, and very good luck uh, for the race tomorrow. Shake and bake. <laughs> so, Ricky, you've just uh, done your second race of the weekend. You uh, finished second in the scholarship and fourth overall. Were you uh, happy with that? Um, I think it's the best we could have achieved. You know, with, with, the, with the package we got, I think that was the best, best possible thing we could have got from the car. For the first four or five laps, the, I was the fastest car on the, on the track, and um, we started to pull away, and it looked like we could maybe get off to a, a very dominant win. But um, towards the end of the race, after sort of lap five, we just had the same, same problem with the engine. Uh, it starts to overheat, and uh, we just start to fall back, which is a real shame because I know the car. Is, is really good. The, the mechanics and stuff are trying really, really hard to, and everyone is trying really, really hard, but um, unfortunately we can't seem yet to find the sweet spot with the engine towards the end of the race. We got it for the first, the first sort of five laps, but then it just, it drops off and um, yeah, we can't really compete towards the end. Have you had this problem before? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been all through the season, but um, obviously when it's cold um, or, or rain or, or wet or anything like that, we can, we can really, really hide the problem and um, still get a good result. But as it starts to dry out and it becomes hot and you've got big long straights, like we always knew this was going to be a, a struggle and a difficult weekend. It, the car just just starts to fall back. It feels like I'm, I'm turning a burger van or something like that behind me. <laughs> now, um, you did, you did uh, before, just had a camera on you in that, uh, in that race. Does that, does that affect, obviously, uh, what make, making f feel that you've got people watching you? Um, I suppose it does a little bit, you know. You, you look at the um, at the crowds and stuff for the, for the Toka package, and it's great, you know, for sponsors and stuff like that. It, it, it really does bring bring a massive, massive crowd in. Um, and an element of that, you do have pressure, but it's learning to deal with the pressure, and it's something that making the transition from a car to a race car, especially on the Toka package, is, is something that I'm learning. Um, getting interviews all the time with Lewis reporting and stuff like that is really, really good. And um, but no, I really enjoy it, and um, yeah, it's, it's it's a good thing to to have the pressure. Now uh, last night uh, the new Formula 4 uh, was uh, unveiled, were you, were you there and uh, what do you think about it? Um, yeah, I was there, um, I was there since bang on half past six, I'm wearing my Ford jacket which Penny Mattox, I'm sure at Ford will be, will be happy to hear, 
But um, no, it was, it was really good. I think it's a really good concept. I think to be able to bring young drivers in at the age of 15 is, is really good. The car looks it's especially good. And, and the whole series, the way it's been formatted, and uh, they've, they've really thought it through with the, with the pricing, to the FIA backing, and to the MSA backing, to, is, is, uh, with all these big teams coming in. It's going to be a very competitive championship. And um, you know, I'd like to maybe have a look at um, securing a deal for next year in the FIA F4. But um, as you know, sponsorship is always difficult and uh, if there's any sponsors out there, I'd love to get in contact. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Ricky, and very good, very good luck for... Uh... Yeah, 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 thank you. <laughs>